resistance versus acceptance. So you already know that you can't stop blushing by trying to stop blushing. Because naturally, if you're a person that doesn't like blushing, that hates it, that feels uncomfortable with it, that feels this affected you in a negative way for a long period of time, then you already know in yourself that you have some resistance towards it. You have some uncomfortable resistance towards it. There's built up tension, built up stress, built up a, um, a stronger automatic response that's led you to the point now where you feel in yourself that avoiding situations where you blush and desperately wanting to stop blushing is the best approach to take. But in reality, how it is worked for the, for the hundreds of people I've spoke to over the past 10 years that have stopped blushing, it generally works in the opposite perspective. So many people hate blushing more than anything and want to stop as the solution. Now, the more someone moves in this direction, the less likely they are to resolve their blushing. Whereas imagine the opposite. Someone hates blushing but realizes that obsessively wanting to stop isn't the answer. And uh, moving in a direction where they become more comfortable with their reactions towards blushing, where they desensitize their uncomfortable experiences and they identify what they need for them to blush and it no longer be a problem. Now, you don't have to move all the way in this direction, but when you just move in this direction, what will happen is you'll begin to blush less. You'll begin to blush less intensively, you begin to blush less consistently, and you'll begin to feel more comfortable about the thought of blushing, therefore you don't worry, ruminate on it throughout the day. Therefore, you build up less tension when you have the experiences. Therefore, your conclusions after the experiences are more supportive, more empowering, more helpful for you, and it continues and continues in this direction. Now, the key mistake I've definitely um, yeah, it's definitely experience from, from talking to so many people is so many people are just head down, stubborn. No, I want to stop. I hate it. I want to stop. I hate it. I want to stop. I hate it. Yeah, I completely appreciate that. You're experiencing pain, challenge, difficulty from something in your life and you dislike it. But realistically in life, the symptoms we have point to a larger challenge. So any pain, any feeling, any sensation that I have within me right now it points to a wider challenge in my life. And the easiest thing someone can do is just try and dull that pain, just try and ignore it, just try and press it, just try and get rid of it. But very often, all that will happen is the challenge will pop up again in our life, again in our gift, again in our life. And, you know, you know this already, but many of the people I speak to, you know, it does point to a kind of underlying need to hide in life. So to hide away from the world, to avoid things to hide and avoid as strategies to live a successful and to live an epic life and if we follow those strategies regardless of if we blush or we don't it's only going to have a negative impact on our life in general so following this program right now is an opportunity for you to stand up to acknowledge the situation and to move in a better direction and by moving in that direction it then lays down a platform for other areas of your life Everything cascades into everything else. When you make one positive change, it leads to something else and something else and something else. Many people I speak to, even if they're in their 40s, 50s or 60s, some people who still have their, their kind of child insecurities limiting them, it's had unbelievable cost on the quality of their life in so many different ways, even if they are successful. So, you know, really look at the wider picture. Use this method right now to conquer this problem but knowing just by conquering it it's going to open up all kinds of other positive influences and effects on your life maybe influencing your your business or your professional growth in some positive way maybe influencing your relationships maybe influencing your your inner development within yourself in some positive way but it's really a spark in your life it's really a seed that you're planting that will move you off in a better direction in a way that's right for you awesome